demonstrated interest. It looms as like some responsibility that you have to show the school why you really want the school. But at the core of it is that the school is worried about their yield. How many kids that they accept will accept them. And demonstrated interest is a, an opportunity for the, the applicant to show the school. So what are the best ways to do that? Well, I think the biggest thing uh, is get on their list first. So I think one of the biggest things with this generation of students is that they do have so much information at their fingertips that they don't, they feel like they can do all of the research themselves and they can look at everything themselves and they don't have to talk to the school at all. And so a lot of schools will call those students that they just hear from the very first time when they get their application, they call them stealth applicants um, because they're, they're being stealthy about it. They're flying under the radar. They're not requesting information. They're not getting on the, the school's list. Now, I know that um, these students, one of the things is that they do get bombarded with mail. They get bombarded with email um, starting their junior year. As soon as their, their name is available to buy for universities, um, they get on their mailing list and they start getting information from them. But I think the biggest thing is, is if there's a school that you are interested in or that you're even considering I would request information from that school, either through a service like College Express or another website or go onto the school's website and contact them, request information. The only way you're gonna learn about them is if you get information from them. And there's a lot of things that schools will send you or that can make available to you that you might not be able to get if you're doing this on your own. Um, I think that if you can't get on campus for whatever reason, I would go online, look at all of the videos that they have available, go to YouTube, Google that school, look at videos that the school has put out, look at videos that other students have put out about. There's a lot of students out there that have done some very smart videos where they're doing tours of the dorms and, and things like that and doing their own vodcasts, if you will, about the institution. You can really learn a lot about the school that way. But I think the biggest thing um, is getting on that list. Um, because when you're on the list, not only does that help you, when you get on a school's mailing list or contact list, not only is that going to help you because you're going to get information from that school and you'll be able to connect with counselors and connect with um, other people there, but it also helps the school as well because they are responsible for bringing in a certain number of students every year and it makes it much easier for them to be able to watch those numbers, make sure that they're planning ahead in the best way possible. Um, and, you know, I think it's just beneficial for everybody overall.